Acts 2 verse 38, The Full Plan of Salvation. I have outlined four steps, that will guide you to find Christ as your personal Savior. 1. I must believe. 2. I must repent. 3. I must be baptized. 4. I must receive the Holy Spirit. First step, I must believe. You must have faith to come to God. Hebrews 11 verse 6 to 7 reads, But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God, must believe, that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Faith comes when you hear God's word. Romans 10 verse 17 reads, So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing, by the word of God. Second step, I must repent. Acts 3 verse 19 reads, Repent ye therefore, and be, converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. What happens when we don't repent? We will perish. Luke 13 verse 3 reads, I tell you, nay, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Third step, I must be baptized. Baptism means, to dip or immerse someone in water, calling upon the name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus, must be applied. Acts 2 verse 38, reads, Then Peter, said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Mark 16 verse 16 reads, He that believeth, and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not, shall be damned. John 3 verses 1 to 7 reads, There was a man of the Pharisees, named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, the same came to Jesus by night and, said, Unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and, said, Unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb, and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Here are examples of baptism recorded in the Bible. Acts 8 verses 12 to 16 reads, But when they believed Philip preaching the things, concerning the kingdom of God, and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also, and when he was baptized, he continued with Philip, and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem, heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John, who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive, the Holy Ghost, for as yet he was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, Acts 10 verses 44 to 48 reads, While Peter yet spake, these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word, and they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak with tongues, and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water, that these should not be baptized, 
which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we, and he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord, then prayed they him to tarry certain days. Acts 19 verses 1 to 6 reads, And it came to pass, that, while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the upper coasts came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people, that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues, and prophesied. Fourth step, I must receive the Holy Ghost. Romans 8 verse 9 reads, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. God promised the Holy Ghost would fall upon all flesh. Joel, 2 verse 28 reads, And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, Acts 2 verses 16 to 17 reads. But this is that, which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, it's the will of God for you to be saved. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 reads, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God's desire is for you to be saved. Let me encourage you to act upon his word today, and make him Lord of your life.